Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video we're going to take a look at the all-new Logitech C910 webcam. This is a high-def webcam capable of recording at 1080p and capable of taking photos up to 10 megapixels. I ordered this from Amazon.com for $99, so let's take a look. So we have the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910. Taking a look at the box, it looks like a typical Logitech box. Very nice design. And we see that the uh, webcam is prominently displayed at the top in this plastic window. If we look at some of the literature on the side, we know more about it. The specs are full HD 1080p video capture up to 1920 by 1080 pixels with the recommended system. HD video calling at 1080 by 720 with recommended system, Logitech, more HD technology, Carl Zeiss Optics, and autofocus. Photos up to 10 megapixels, software enhanced. Built-in mics with Logitech Right Sound technology, high-speed USB 2.0 certified, which is recommended. For HD 720p video calling on Logitech Vid HD, and full HD 1080p video recording. You'll need a 2.4 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM, 200 megabytes of hard drive space, USB 2.0 port, 1 megabyte per second of upload speed or higher, and 1280 by 720 screen resolution. What you will need is Windows XP, SP2 or higher, Windows Vista or Windows 7, 32-bit or 64-bit. Basic requirements are a 1 GHz processor with 512 MB of RAM or more, 200 MB hard drive space, internet connection, and USB 1.1 port 2.0 recommended. So we can see the logos for Windows. We have Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. Notice there is no Mac. The software for this device is not compatible with a Mac. Like many Logitech webcams, this should work with a Mac. You'll just lose features that come with the software. So you should be able to still record both audio and video with the webcam, but you'll have to do it with your own software. Now the C910 is the most capable of Logitech's new high-def cameras. We do have the C310 and the C510, and we can see uh, everything below the C910 is only capable of 720p. And the photo quality, of course, is 10 megapixels versus 8 and 5 for the downgrade models. Video quality is good, better, or best. Uh, lens technology is standard, standard, and Carl Zeiss optics, so this webcam has Carl Zeiss lenses on it. Focus type is always focused on the C310 and C510, while there is autofocus on the C910. So, so with autofocus, you do have an active lens that moves to focus your subject. It should be noted that the C310, C510, and C910 are not Skype HD compatible, at least at this time. So if you want high def quality for Skype, this probably isn't the camera you want. Now, I don't really use Skype that much, and if I did, I'll use my built-in cameras on my iMac. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. We have the manual with the software, which I can't use on my Mac. We have the camera locked under the plastic in here. Let's see if I can get this out. Just pull this out. And this should slide out. Looks like the cable is permanently attached to the camera itself. Try and preserve the box as much as I can. Now let's just take a look around the camera itself. We see it's got a fairly flat face with this glossy plastic finish, which already has some fingerprints on it. It has this articulating arm that folds completely like this. So it does give it a low profile for storage and for transportation. So this is good for a laptop if you want to carry it around in your laptop bag. It does rotate, it doesn't turn, it doesn't pivot or turn this way. On the inside of the clasp is some rubber grips for hanging onto your computer without damaging it. So you have several degrees of articulation. Of course we see the fixed cable and these are the microphone inputs. So we see the Carl Zeiss Tessar lens, HD 1080p Logitech. On the side are these illuminated LED bars. I can also tell that there is an anti-glare coating on here. It's giving off a green cast to my light here. So you can actually see right into my light. It's uh, filtering it pretty well. I should also point out that the wire has a permanently fixed Velcro strip, so it will always be available for you to tie up the cord. You can see it's always fixed onto the wire. 
Now let's go ahead and connect this to two types of computers. I'm going to do my desktop, which is an iMac, and then I'm going to do my MacBook. Now here I have the Logitech camera mounted to my iMac, and if I turn off the light, you'll see the blue LED lights. Now from the side, you can see how it's mounted. It fits perfectly on the iMac. It should work for any LCD display. Now here we are with the Logitech C910 on a 13-inch MacBook. We zoom out, we can see how big it is compared to the computer itself. Now you can see that the camera itself basically hangs onto the edge of the MacBook using this corner in the bracket. So if you just lay it down here, it hangs on, and you can use this bracket to angle it farther up or farther down. And of course you can use this on a desktop, all you have to do is angle the bracket to the way you want it. Now it doesn't have a rubber foot on the bottom, so it does kind of slide around on a smooth surface. Right now I'm recording a video sample using the Logitech software that comes with the camera. I'm using my Sony Vial, which is my only Windows PC. I can record this on a Mac using QuickTime, and I'll give you an example of that. I'm also using the onboard audio, which is stereo. Now here's an example of using the Logitech C910 on a Mac. In this case, I'm using QuickTime to make the recording. Unfortunately, because Logitech doesn't have software that runs on a Mac, I can't take full advantage of the C910's features. So I can't tell it to record in widescreen or any of the higher resolutions like 1080p. I also lose control over the manual focusing feature in the camera. Autofocus does continue to work, however. It's one of the few webcams with autofocusing. So I have a little brochure here of a car I'm looking at buying. So what I'm going to do is hold it up to the camera and you should be able to see it focus. There you go. So let's do that again. Now I'm going to come back and focus. So there you go, that's focusing with the C910, and at least that continues to work on the Mac. So once again, this is Detroit Borg with an unboxing and demonstration of the new Logitech C910 Webcam HD Pro. Thanks for watching.